Everyone going through the scanners is guilty. That's the subconscious image. And they blur it. But we've gone to the company websites to show what they actually show, and it is down to the pores on your skin. And up on screen, we will put you, post for you some of these images throughout the next hour with Mike Rivero. We also have articles up on Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com that I'm asking everyone to get. Oh, this is so important, ladies and gentlemen. It is so absolutely vital that everyone go to PrisonPlanet.com and get these headline articles. Airports set to become primary peddlers of child porn. Alex Jones calls for mass resistance implementation of body scanners. Why this is being done, this, this act of supplication, this act of submission, if they can train you to accept this, if they can train you to go along with this and biometrically scan your body and have a biometric image of your body that they can then use with passive scanners on the streets to scan through and get your identity, similar to face scanning. This is globally being done. Also, other headlines at PrisonPlanet.com, military industrial complex set to make killing from body scanners. Chertoff, Ridge, all of them making money. Obama pushing it. All of this being introduced. They ordered the scanners a year ago. They're going in this year to all the major airports in the world, in the Western world, 214 in the U.S. They want to make everyone go through them. They admit they're going to do it incrementally. They say so you don't revolt. They even talk about how they're managing you like animals, using psychology on you. It is just unbelievable. It has nothing to do with security. With us for the rest of the hour, joining us from Hawaii is the man that heads up whatreallyhappened.com, Mike Rivero. And obviously, Mike, I want to talk about all the different facets of the body scanners first. Then we'll get into all the news on the economy as it implodes and all the numbers come out. It's just devastating, all by design by the banks. We're going to get into government takeover of health care, big developments there as they plan to try to pass it in secret in conference. That's U.S. News and World Report. Mike Rivero, does it make your blood boil to know that your wife, your children, your family will all be put in a database, just like they've now declassified everyone for 37 years, has had their blood taken at birth and put in a DNA database? I mean, this is a lawless criminal state, Mike Rivero. Well, more than that is an indication that this is a government that is deathly afraid of its own population. And you were mentioning earlier that they're trying to manage the public perception of these uh, body scanners in order to avoid a revolt. And that is clearly what they're afraid of. They're not worried about airline bombers. They're not worried about any of this stuff. They are worried that as they push the American people further and further at some point there's going to be a revolt so all of this body scanning and all of this database it is an attempt by the government to reassure itself that it is still in control of the population of the united states of america i think they may be spinning a self-destructive fantasy i think there's simply too much data for them to manage i mean this whole crotch bomber with his fruit of the boom underwear proves they've got the data but they can't get anything meaningful out of it everybody's saying oh yes we knew he was out there there was indications this and all this now there's a a, a fight between Great Britain and the United States over who had the information and who dropped the ball. And basically, they're drowning in the wealth of all of this data. Now, I don't like being put in databases. I don't like being scanned. But I think the bottom line is they're collecting so much data on everybody, they can't manage it. They've got a huge Mike, data stay there. Problem. Well, clearly, they staged the event to begin with to simultaneously launch their new war against Yemen and as well as North Africa and to sell their body scanners that they announced that day. Now, remember, general aviation, people that own their own Cessna or people that charter jets, they don't have to go through the body scanners. They don't have to take their shoes off, pull their shirts out, go through these acts of submission. And notice how it's ratcheted up incrementally. The government admits they're doing this to train you. And if they can get you to put up with this, then they believe you'll go along with literally anything. In the last hour today, I'm going to break down the legalese of all this. It is not a privilege to fly. It is not a privilege to drive. It is not a privilege to travel. It is not a privilege to own a gun. It is not a privilege to own property. But all of these basic rights are being abridged and eroded and basically abolished. Okay, it is not a privilege. They tell you it's a privilege. It's not a privilege. They're doing this through color of law. Private airports, but they're not. They use taxpayer money could do this. Private aircraft companies could do this, that ferry people and goods, 
but they're using government to order it in front of their private operation in agreements. It's a fraud. And it has nothing to do with keeping you safe. Mike Rivero joins us with his once a month visit from Hawaii, streaming video, not just audio, at PrisonPlanet.tv. Mike, continuing with the fact that they want to break our spirits. They want to break our back. They want us to capitulate uh, to this outrageous letting us know our naked bodies are being recorded on screen. I'm going to put images of the body scans of what they really show. And you can even blow these photos up right down to the pores on women's mammary glands, right down to the smallest detail of their genitalia. They are in the U.S. putting children through these. They are recording it. They are saving it. I mean, this is outrageous. And I'll talk later about what comes next. And I also want your ideas, Mike, on how we boycott this, how we fight it. Then we'll get into the latest hype to attack Yemen happening right before the underwear bomber. The latest hype for scanners coming out within minutes of the underwear bomber on Christmas Day. Clearly, all of this is concerted for the rollout of the next level, the tightening of the control grid noose around our necks. Mike Rivero. You're absolutely correct, and this has got nothing to do with security because, as you know, the Amsterdam airport already had these full-body scanners. Now, we've gotten two stories from this crotch bomber. The first one, they said he went through the scanner, but he hid the explosive behind his testicles. And then everybody said, well, that proves the body scanners don't work. So then they changed the story and said, oh, well, he was allowed to get on board the plane without going through the scanner. So they're still trying to sell you that these scanners are going to help. But the bottom line is that all of the security uh, is, is a waste of time and money if the people running it just let anybody on the plane. We know this guy was allowed on the plane without a passport. There was an intervention. We know that security at the Amsterdam airport is run by the same company that ran security at all the 9-11 airports. We know that the shoe bomb went through Amsterdam airport. He got past security. It's all a big joke and a big scam. Again, they're, they're, the goal is to make money selling these scanners. The goal is to uh, condition the American people into thinking they have no right of privacy whatsoever. Uh, that they can, the government can look at your naked body whenever they feel like it. The next step will be making us fly naked on the airplane and saying you can't use the restroom. They're talking about these shock bracelets. It's completely out of control. Well, and by the, the way, Mike, are... they're already saying in the last hour, keep your hands in your lap, put nothing on your lap, no electronics, period, on any flight. They are literally training us to be prisoners. And I'm showing vi photos on PrisonPlanet.tv right now for TV viewers. Radio listeners can go read the articles at PrisonPlanet.com and see them where it shows the woman completely naked, men completely naked, their genitalia hanging. Uh, it shows it all. And then we show another photo of the TSA with a woman in the scanner as the man looks at another woman's naked body on the screen with a smile on his face. Well, it's definitely, it's a, it's a complete, uh, it's almost dehumanizing the American people. It's we're, not we're almost, being it is. We're being turned into objects. We're run through the scanners. We're sent off to war. We're sent off to the tax farms. We, you know, we're being objectified in a, in a way that, you know, uh, men's magazines never even dreamt of doing uh, to people. Now, you want to know how we're going to stop this thing? I think it's going to destroy itself because we're already seeing that tourism in the United States has, has just absolutely plummeted. We're dying out here in Hawaii. California is on the verge of bankruptcy, and their loss of tourism is a big part of it. The way that we stop this is we stop using the airlines. We stop traveling. Uh, it, you know, we travel only. I when agree we with have you, to. Mike. But at and a higher airlines level, a lot of business. But, but 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 at a higher level, that's what Maurice Strong and the UN admit. They want to shut down air travel. They want an international tax on tra travel. But but go back. I mean, you're right. I've seen the statistics in, since 9/11, and it's not happening in the rest of the world. People aren't coming to America because people that come from freer countries know this is a police state. I talk to Russians that come here, and they can't believe what a police state. They say, when I was a little kid in Russia, it was like this. Yeah, very much. We have become the evil empire here. We had some very good friends who lived in Great Britain. They would come out here to Hawaii once a year. They stopped years ago, and they said, we can't relax in Hawaii when we're treated like POWs everywhere we go at the airport. And they're absolutely correct. It's completely out of control. I've it's offered to fly the Watsons here. Economy. The Watsons, I've flown to England to meet them. They've flown here before. I've offered, it's been four years since they were here, to fly uh, Steve Watson and Paul Watson to the U.S., and they don't even want to come. But they're Who living would? in a police state there as well. 
It's it's just absolutely amazing. And the thing is, we're going to destroy our airline industry. We're going to destroy our tourism industry. What is this government thinking that they're so eager to just put profits in the pockets of their cronies that they're willing to completely destroy what little remains of the private uh, economy in the United States? Well, it's incredible. Uh, Mike Rivero, as the public goes online to the security company's own sites and actually sees the, the 360 naked image, and as the public learns that the feds are already proposing for people that might actually hide bombs in their stomachs or drugs, they're talking about high-powered MRIs. And we just printed, in fact, bring it into me, the CBS News stories where they admit that these MRIs are cancer-causing. These are high-powered. These fire waves into your body. Well, even the full body scanners, it's now, now being discovered, they are able to damage DNA. Now, they're not powerful enough to break mo uh, molecules completely apart, but that center of the DNA helix is intentionally weak because it has to unzip in order to replicate the DNA during cell division.